Do you realize this is probably the last video we're ever going to do in the wood shop? That kind of breaks my heart. <laughs> it's a little bit sad. We have put so much work into <laughs> it. Have, it's so nice. put so much work into it. Today's video is going to be probably one of the most requested videos that I've had from you guys. And we're going to be talking about our harvest right. Freeze dryer. Freeze dryer. Now, when we got this uh, in the spring, uh, it was sitting in the back of the shop. I got a ton of questions on it. And we haven't really done a whole lot until now because we've been waiting for the fall harvest, but we're going to be covering that today. Mrs. W has gotten started with it and you've got some amazing stuff here for us, Yeah, right? well, well I don't, this actually is all the new stuff because we have eaten all this stuff. I know you're supposed to be saving it for 25 years or whatever, but like all the peaches, like bags and bags and bags of peaches, we have just been eating like it's going out of style. Well, let's get into it. Tell us what you know about it and then we'll show us what you've done and, and why we decided to get one of these. Okay. Fortunately, the harvest rate is pretty much idiot proof. <laughs> you can put anything in and it calibrates. It asks you if you've frozen it or if it's a liquid, but otherwise it determines how long the food will need to get all of the moisture out. So it, we're gonna go ahead. It's essentially 24 hours. It's essentially 24 hours. So liquids take longer. So you put the trays right. in, it runs the steel and it's ready the next, next day. It is. Um, normally you would try to do things with the same consistency. I'm just putting a whole bunch of things in that are different because looking at four trays of shredded zucchini is boring for you. What's this? This is pesto. Got pesto. Applesauce. Applesauce? Applesauce. Rhubarb from the garden. And eggs. And we did pre-freeze these. Why? Um, because it takes less time. Because it's kind of like if you add hot water to a pot, it takes less time to boil. So you just take the trays and put them in your freezer Pop and them then in. put them in. That's right. Insulators. <laughs> I know the logo goes a certain <laughs> way, but it doesn't really matter. Insulator. Close it. Start. That's it? Yeah. What happens when you hit start? Oh, it's going to make a lot of noise. So you have to make a choice, liquid or non-liquid? So we'll say non-liquid, frozen or frozen, pre-frozen. That's it. Yeah. And you just Isn't walk that... away? See you tomorrow. Thanks to a little Hollywood movie magic, this is about 26 hours after we put the food in. Let's see what it looks like. You can see it's, oh, I locked it. Defrosting, you'll have a nice little rim. Ready? Now, what is this? This, um, this helps to seal it. So it's like an extra insulator. Ready? Dun, da, da, dun, 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 That is cold. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it looks very cool. I, I forgot to bring a, um, oven, a, a oven mitt. Yeah. We'll see what I can do. You want a wildland glove? Yeah, or are you just one? gonna go for it? Do you have one here? I could go get one. Okay. Don't worry, this is food grade because I do treat it with Obanoffs. <laughs> I don't know if that's food grade. We'll try again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's got some soot on it from the Carlton fire. Well, you know, it builds immunity, right? <laughs> so what do you have in there? So four trays. Four trays. So we did four different things so people could kind of see what's happening. And normally it's best if they're all the same consistency, which these are not. But we did rhubarb. So this is from the garden. Wow. Yeah. And so this is basically the same process that you'd get from like your backpacking food, your mountain house, mm -hmm. but you can do it at home. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Rhubarb, a little tart. Mm. We did pesto. So when you go pesto? camping, you can put it with your pasta and it's freeze dried and you just add some liquid. No kidding. You just put it in the bag? Yeah. Did you, you didn't, you cooked them first? No, we just froze them first. When you freeze them, it goes faster. So you pre-freeze really pre so it. Like, okay. Yeah, pre-freeze it goes faster. Okay, eggs. And, then, and so how, what would you do with that? How, how, would you, how would you serve that? Well, you would need to uh, add water to it. So you could maybe put it in water, a water bath and just heat it up and then you'd have your eggs for eggs hollandaise. Mm -hmm. Or Benedict, I guess it is. And applesauce. Applesauce. Yeah. How nice is that going to be for the baby? Well, it's going to be great if you want to do like an instant oatmeal. We're running out the door to go to homeschool co-op. You add a little water in with the oatmeal and then you have a deliciousness. So once you get the food out of the freeze dryer, you can eat it immediately, throw it in your freezer, or you can save it up to 25 years. So this rhubarb, I know we're going to want it in 25 years when you're 
25 years? Is, yeah. it, is it taste the same after 25 years? Allegedly, but I haven't had it 75 years or 25 years later. So we're going to try. So it looks like it's designed for the contents of one of the trays is pretty much for one of the bags, right? Yeah. Aren't they beautiful bags? They look, almost too pretty to use. They are almost too pretty to yes. use. I'm going to go ahead and put in the oxygen absorbers. You put two of these in a bag and you want to seal this back up right away so that they don't absorb oxygen until they're supposed to. So I'll put two of these in the bag. She's back in. Put them in here. And I will close it. You're going to just push it to make it close. And you'll close it. And then when it lights up, it'll be all done. Plus well, oh, so you can reuse your bags. Reuse your bags. Mm -hmm. And then this, once you have your food and your absorbers in, you'll do the same. Now, do you need to press the air out of that at all? Or, or does the oxygenators, do they take care of that? Well, it's always a good idea to take as much oxygen. Help, help the oxygenator, oxygen, oxygen absorbers out when you can. That is amazing. Sealed, and then you, don't forget to write what it is because that's the most important. This would be really great for backpacking. I mean, that's so light, it doesn't weigh anything. That's right. It's, that's it's incredible. Awesome. That's incredible that you can actually do that from home. That, yes, it is completely amazing. It, yes, and it's delicious too, which is what's really fun. Now, mostly, most people I think associate this with um, backpacking and such. Right. How would this benefit like someone who's trying to prepare for future or hard times or well, I think meal it, planning. Well, I think a big part of this is food storage because it takes so much less space. It's not breakable, so if you can with glass, you know your glasses, your glass jars can break. And then if you put it in the freezer, your freezer can dry. So this is more, much more fail safe, and it lasts longer too because things in the freezer you get frostburn. Things that are in the jar they tend to lose their texture and color. This twenty five years are really amazing. One thing that we've kind of been concerned about was because you've done so much canning and, and we live in an earthquake prone place is that we could have everything that we've done destroyed in an earthquake where this yeah. is going to be way, way more durable. Right. Much safer. Yeah. yeah. And takes up way less space. Much less space. And for us too, having, you know, when we are running around and doing things, it's really nice to have food that's simple to do. So instead of buying instant oatmeal, you can make your own instant oatmeal without all of the different preservatives and things in it. So, you know, it's healthier. It's a good quality, safer. So can I tell you what I'm excited about? Yes, of course. So in our new home, we have a mud sink. So this will be the first time ever in 16 years. And so I, I don't, I, I, I uh, before, before church, I'm often caught washing the mud off my shoes in her kitchen sink, which is never very popular, especially when I use your sponge. Yeah, it's true. But it's gonna be great for harvesting food. So I'm gonna have a dedicated place to be able to have this where I can do a lot of food preparation. It's gonna help with meal planning, less food waste, you know, all the things that we all wanna do, right? right Getting things out of right. the, the freezer before they get fr 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 uh, freezer, freezer burn. Freezer, freezer burn, burn. Right. that's right. Um, it's also really nice for long-term in case, you know, times get really hard, we'll have a whole bunch of food on hand. It's really, you, you know, it's nice to have. You were telling me of, of someone you follow on a blog who their husband was a real estate agent. They weren't able to have any, or have an income coming in and they basically survived off their pantry for, was it two years? Yeah, I, there's very few blogs that I follow, but the Prudent Homemaker, she's really awesome if you want to go check her out. I'll put a link in the subject heading. Yeah, ahead. and she, uh, they lived, I think there's seven kids, eight kids, a huge family, and they lived off of their, their pantry. And she does a phenomenal job of how to eat for a dollar a day and lots of homemade food and really helps you plan your pantry and how to cook. Uh, so she's been phenomenal for me. So you're not the only woman that's more precious than rubies. <laughs> well, this was just kind of a quick, a quick uh, <laughs> o overview. If you, you know, we're trying, I'm trying to be serious here. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and we'll answer, and I'm sure Harvest Right will jump in and answer questions that we don't know the answers to. Please leave in the comments the strangest thing or what you would like to see us freeze dry. We'll, we get, we'll have it set up here. We got some, we're still harvesting from the garden. Leave in the comments what you'd like to see us do. <laughs> Think of the craziest thing that you could possibly come up with. And if it's possible, we'll do it and share it with you. Wait a minute, are you gonna eat it? Is this like a, is it called mukbang or whatever it is? Ooh, Where you're gonna eat it? It's gonna be like octopus legs covered in chimichurri sauce. 
What do you think? I don't know if I can do. I don't know if I can. I, I, you know, I'm. You're, you're I, a super I am a taster. super taster, and so it's much worse for me. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. Mrs. W will try whatever it is that you come up with, and we'll pick the strangest thing. So put it in the comments, and uh, that will be funny. But stay away from spicy. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later.